Under the approved House Bill 8136 or the Coconut Farmers and Industry Trust Fund Act, the annual allocations from the Coco Levy Fund will be distributed to 10 programs. The fund will be distributed to shared facilities, farm improvement, the development of hybrid seeds, strengthening of farmers, groups, and cooperatives, scholarship program, health and medical program, credit provisions, infrastructure development, training for farmers, and planting and replanting program. The other version was earlier passed by the Senate. Joey Faustino of the Coconut Industry Reform Movement said both versions will limit the program that will benefit the farmers. He emphasized that the Coco Levy Fund should not be part of the government fund and should be exclusively used for the benefit of coconut farmers and the industry. It is estimated that the Coco Levy Fund now has a value of 76 billion pesos. This is from the collected tax from the Coco farmers during the term of former President Ferdinand Marcos. Sabi nila, magsagawa ng plano, roadmap ng industriya ang PCA. But to take into consideration na 10% dito sa ahensyang to, 5% doon sa ahensyang to, ng annual allocation. Ano pa ipaplano mo? Isinagawa na nila. Itinago lang nila sa mga programa kuno na kailangan ng mga magnanyog. The group also questions the small portion of farmers' representation in the board and even in the trust fund committee. Hindi po kami sinama at nasa gobyerno po lahat ang bubuo ng trust fund committee para mamahala o magmaniho ng pera. Ed Mora also noted the removal of the provision for the limitation of beneficiaries' qualification. They want to limit it to farmers who only owns farms with 5 hectares below. The group is now planning to ask President Rodrigo Duterte to veto the bill if the same version will be agreed by both chamber. Sayang ang panahon, parang yung last Congress, 17th Congress, na veto. Dahil din daw walang limit. Isa yun sa rason eh. Walang limit ang beneficiary. Ah, ba't inuulit pa? And if the same version will be signed into law, the group will ask the intervention of the Supreme Court. Ray Pilayo, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.